Speaking of bugs, I have these little flies flying around here. I took out the trash and hopefully that fixes it. I don't know. <clears throat> Here's the uh, bug type gym, which is surrounded by rocks. So that makes sense. Uh, let me just validate this is exactly where I'm at. I'm in Coronado Springs or Corton Cortondo. That's where I'm at. So terrestrialized Pokemon are all around here, but you know, I'm gonna go for the bug type gym and sweep this thing with Cor Cor Corocloc, Corocloc, and uh, Skabungus. That's the idea. Hello. Oh, hi, Brian. That's my name, by the way. Brian Saviano, Brixo O'Brien, the number one content creator in the multiverse. Doesn't matter who says what, I can validate myself. Uh, before you go to the gym battle, I'm gonna do the gym test here. So every gym has a different test. I've actually already seen people, <laughs> I've already seen people vent about these online, and that some of them are not uh, desirable. I look like Superman with the little right there, except I'm not muscular or as um, noble as he is. So I'll let the look continue for now. There's a little flies right there. Must have been from the trash, but I didn't throw away anything that was like whatever. Olive roll, olive production is a big part of life in Cortondo. To pass a gym chat test, you'll need to roll an olive shaped ball all the way to the goal. So they had this in the area outside, and it looked kind of low-key miserable. So um, that's what we're going to have to do. I'm trying to snipe these flies while they're around here. Take part in the olive roll. You got it. All right, so there's beautiful flies over there, and the olive roll is on a field over here. Um, the ball slash olive has no physics to it whatsoever. Um, it's actually right over toward here. So I will show you exactly what it's all about. And, you know, I tried some terrestrial battles. Actually, where is it? Hold on. Wait a second. Where is this thing? I thought it was over toward here. Oh, right over toward here. It's over toward the left side over here. That's maybe the only other issue with this game is that it's a little bit disorienting in a way. Just kidding. It's over. I was on the right track. Just kidding. It's over here. It's a little bit disorienting where sometimes you're like, okay, I'm gonna go over toward here and do this thing, and then you're not. So, yeah, here it is, these big giant baskets over toward this way. You gotta roll the olive into the ball, and I'm gonna talk to this lady first before I do so. Try the olive roll, the olive oil right here. It's the olive rolling field. Jim tests about stamina. Get the ball over various obstacles and push them into the thing. Sure, let's go for it. So they do this, uh, because it wants to be a bit more, I don't know, drum up, drummed up with excitement when you're going to a gym battle. Instead of just trainers after trainers, make it a bit more spicy for you, which you don't really need to make it spicy. Now, do I have to do this? Actually, I do. So with Koraiden, you can roll around this olive, which I did before, but you can actually jump, which means that you can pop it over obstacles. So... This olive is not even like a ball. It just kind of has like no physics to it. So is there a time limit? Am I just chilling? I think I'm just chilling. Uh, pro gamer tip, by the way, uh, while you're playing, while you're playing this game, um, it's been recommended that you close out the game and re recharge yourself in terms of the game uh, because of how much uh, data leaks from the game. You might say, Brian, how does data leak from a game? I know, right? It's kind of crazy how that works. The goal is just past here. Can I challenge you? Is that a thing? If you're looking for a shortcut, you gotta earn it. So that's how it's done. So again, I'm just using Kabungus the entire way through here. So if you ever have an issue with bugs, I'm not saying you light them on fire. But that's kind of what's happening here. You just light them all on fire. And that's going to take care of that. So uh, the opposing Venonat is gone. Um, I rested very much so last night. I was uh, very happy to sleep. And I got up at a reasonable time. I fell asleep at a reasonable time. So I was uh, very excited about that. And now I feel uh, fairly well rested, which is great. So now I can play more Pokemon Scarlet. And get, I want to try to, you know, if I have the energy for it, which I kind of, I don't know if I do. Uh, I'm going to eat some, uh, the leftover pizza. Yo, I had that buffalo chicken pizza. It hit all the spots, man. 
it hit every single one of the spots it was so good um but if i have the energy for it i'd love to get like three gyms done today um or three events i should say three no three gyms i want to do like a bunch of events and a bunch of things so here's the thing i also don't know what level i should be at as i'm going forward so should i be at level 30 by now i did encounter a level 30 arcanine so i lost big time so hopefully at some point i can find out what level i'm supposed to be at as we watch more black screens here which is great with that performance i'm sure we can look forward to the great uh harvest next year cool so now i can go to the gym okay report to the gym staffer hey mr gym staffer hey man meow meow Welcome back, Brian. I heard you were on a roll. But I successfully destroyed the gym test, so now I am ready to defeat the gym leader, Katie, the sugar bug. Which again should be fairly easy, because you just set all the bugs on fire. Unless there's a fire type bug, then I might be in trouble. So there's this one. Probably the ice type gym or ice type trainer, whatever that situation might be. That would be a good one to explore and uh, destroy no formal introduction to the bug type gym leader here but hi with your beauty fly eat up my little cutie vavilion i'm sorry not beautiful fly. vavilion this is the one that has all sorts of patterns from uh, all the different regions and types and whatnot as seen in new pokemon snap i see the bugs still a bugs here forgive me what's your name my name is katie like Katy Perry. Great. And I'm the gym leader of Cortondo. My main line of work is uh, doing this. Sweet little happiness. It's just one type Pokemon in the foliage there. Don't let your, don't let your guard down, man. So if you have the, uh, the water type starter, Quaxley, this could be a little bit of an issue for you. But uh, for me, nah. It's totally fine. Sorry, got to clear the sinuses. Make sure everything's all good. All right, gym leader Katie here. Nimble. Oh my goodness. We have a grasshopper infestation here. Let me just toss a little bit of gas on your flames. Why don't you? Don't take my Don't take my bug po type Pokemon lightly. They're really intimidating and daddy 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 daddy. That's what you think. Bye. There we go. There's one. I didn't even look at the level of Nimble. So, oh, it's raining. Why is it raining? In the desert. Which I don't understand. <laughs> the bug type Pokemon are in the desert. So, okay. Tarantula! You are level 4 to- Oh my goodness, I'm OP. <laughs> I'm very overpowered. All right, well, it's not even like I get a lot of EXP out of it, so that's unfortunate. But I guess I'll go for the Ice-type gym next, and hopefully, maybe the difficulty will be scaled appropriately. You're quite good. How are you? How should I roll things out from here? Teddy Ursa? Oh, that's a cute Pokemon. I've, I still haven't played Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. It's never been a game that I felt. Um, time to break free from your firework. Come on, let your colors burst. Make them go. Oh, oh, ooh. What type are you going to be? An ice type? Yeah, you are. Just kidding. Grass bug. Because she's the bug type gym leader. Go figure. Okay. Teddy Ursa flinched. Let me uh, let me set your expectations ablaze, why don't we? There we go. All right, Teddy Ursa's down. All the dramatics of terrestrializing. I'm going to say it right now. Five episodes in, terrestrializing is lame. It's lame. I like the the fact that it changes your ability. It's cool. I'm sorry, you're, you're typing. I get it. The chandeliers on the head? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. It doesn't add enough spice, especially coming off of how the G Max situation was. The Mega Evolutions, much more um, thoughtfully implemented. You know. So there's that. That was easy. Where's my button? I don't have my button on me. Cortondo, Jim defeated for the victory road. Oh, I forgot she's a pastry chef. This isn't even her full time job. She's like, oh, let me put bugs in the pastry. Okay. Pokemon up to level 25 will obey you. Nice. And then I got Pounce. Pounce with me. Pounce with me. A chicka chicka chicka. Pounce with me. Pounce with me. Wish you luck in your grand adventures. Off you go. Bye for now. 
So now, whatever I do is up to me. Where should I go next? I could explore this region that still has Pokemon I haven't seen yet. That's what I'm gonna say as the ringtone there. Pokemon, I've been learning some cool moves. I passed. It was not an issue whatsoever. Um, trying hard too, by the way. Uh, thank goodness for the map app. There we go. All right, speaking of strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Okay, so at some point, Arvin will be around and I can uh, catch up with him. So what I, what I am going to do, I'm going to focus right now on goals. I'm not going to do this whole perusing situation, wandering around and stuff, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to have some goals and go for them, right? So we, bugs are everywhere. All right, so we got this. Um, there's a psychic type. The bug is like flying right in front of my face. There's a flying type, dark type, water type. Um, okay, so the ice is like way over here. So you know what I could do? I could go over toward the coast this way. This is kind of a big looking area. What's what's like the nearest cool thing I can do, right? I was already over here. I guess I can head over toward this way. The gym psychic situation here. I do have bite which Bite is a Dark-type move, which can basically cl clean sweep that, too. And I like that they do face you in the direction that you have to go in, so that's kind of cool. Now, I will not necessarily waste your time with going around here. I'll wait until I see something interesting up over toward that green uh, mountainous area over there. I think I gotta, like, actually legitimately jump over this area or find some mystical, magical way of getting over right here. Go, 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 no, dang it. How do I get a uh, Koridon to go on water, dude? Do I have to go to the coast? It's probably what has to happen at some point. All right, well, nope, that's not what I want. Okay. So pro gamer tip, you have to really like navigate effectively and look at the map fairly frequently. Like you can't just kind of wander over toward a given area and hope it works out. Ooh, I could go after a Scyther right now. Yeah, I can. Yes. Scyther, although, is a terrestrialized form. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a... Diamond type? It's a diamond type Pokemon? What does that mean? Level 22, that's fine. Let's go with this. Double hit. You going to hit me? One. Anna. Hit me with the two. Hit me with the two. There we go. What is that type? Normal? What? Uh. What is that thing on its front? Is that a flying type? Iconography? I'm going to try a bite and see how it goes. I don't know. Terrestrializing, I'm not even convinced, actually does something. I haven't noticed anything in battle. Other than changing the type, which it doesn't change for the starters. Unless Kabungus evolves into its final form, and then, and then it changes type. But right now, you don't change any type, you know? So, okay. I avoided the attack. Nice. Bite. Nice big chomp. Nothing happens. Okay, cool. Ember, one more time. Here we go. Leer is going to lower my defenses. Got to love that. But if Kabungus can keep avoiding everything, then that's going to be just fine. Powered up fire type. Yeah, there we go. One more time on this. Wing attack? Oh my goodness, wow. I guess it does do slightly more damage in that situation. Scyther, I don't think, has a evolution or anything. I'm not actually quite sure. Definitely going to go for um, Char Charcadet. It's still being a fire type here. Very, very cute looking Pokemon here. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is a... Ooh. User, it shoots burnout. Okay, so I'm just going to go for this instead. And then hopefully get one more dodge and be good. Oh, that's not good. Um, Yeah, that's going to be bad. That's going to be especially bad. Should I just revive Kabungus? Yeah, I probably should. Okay, well, I broke the terrestrialization. So it's kind of in position to take... Uh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen too. Maybe I can try to capture it maybe if i can get like a dusk ball or something just for the sake of having a grass type here again i don't know what all these pokemon evolve into i'm half tempted to look at the pokedex honestly 
At this point, I feel like that might be beneficial to me. Okay, I have one Ultra Ball here, which this little chickadee against a giant Scyther here. I don't know, man. One, two, three, and caught. Nice. So although no XP was gained for Kabungus, that's okay. I have a Scyther, though, which is, has a Terrastalization ability, which I don't think actually matters. It slashes through grass with its sharp scythes moving too fast for the human eye to track. Yes, indeed. Went over to the box, and I'm going to revive Kabungus and continue on my way to the next area. Oh, here's the new Pokemon. You look adorable. You look like a little chickadee. It's Flittle. Flittle, little, little, little Flittle over here. A little bit of Flittle. Ooh, a psychic type uh, flower thing. That's kind of spicy. Uh, capture you in a standard Pokeball. Actually, the heal ball would have been better for you in terms of matching. Yeah. Ooh, you look like a little chickadee. A little psychic chicken. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Heal ball. Heal ball. Stay in there. One, two, three. Hey, look at that. It worked. Very cool. Flittle was caught. A new Pokemon showcased for all y'all. Nice. Cool, cool. So Flittle... Its toes uh, levitate about a half inch above the ground because of the psychic power emitted from the frills on the Pokemon's belly. So it looks like a chicken, a lot of birds, um, like a chick, a psychic chicken, psychic little yolk, which may have a full evolutionary line, which is spicy, but I'm, I'm walking toward this way. So you can see, yeah, it's definitely like a psychic sort of theming around here. Um, you can see like the first area we started in over toward there. I thought about jumping off this cliff and going over there. Absolutely not. Don't want to do that. So, I'm moving through this valley. I'm not seeing, like, a notable place. Is that Riolu? That's Riolu. Oh, very cool. Uh, that might be a cool Pokemon to have on the team, but I don't think that's actually something worth pursuing right now. My goal is to head to the coast, which I'm not heading toward right now. I have to head... Oh, I'm going in the wrong way. I need to head over toward here. Why don't I just aim for this as a destination? It's this way? How do I do that? I'm not seeing... Well, I am seeing a clear way to get over there. Oh, I'm going up that mountain? All right, let's go. <laughs> let's -a go. Because clearly I can't go any other way here. Or... Is this toward the coast? No, this, there's a river. Is that a... I don't know. It's kind of the nice thing about exploration is you, you can just kind of go wherever and figure out where things are. It's very cool. Um, I need to get better about crafting, man. I haven't crafted a single TM or done anything this entire game. Ooh, a watchtower. There's where a gimme ghoul is definitely going to be. Yeah, I'm definitely in a new area, too. There's a Meryl. What else do we have? A Basculin. Not a Basculegion. Not quite yet. Um, they may evolve into that one day, but uh, not today. Uh, it's worth it probably for me to go right, right over here. So I'm going to go to that watchtower first, then add to the go over to the ocean, because I do know for a fact there's a dolphin Pokemon that behaves a very weird way, and I may want to capture that Pokemon and bring him onto the team. I'm not sure yet. So let me uh, go over to the top of this uh, tower here. That electric-type Pokemon, I forget its name. But I never had it on my team. I think that was a Generation 6? No, that was, um... Oh, I did! What am I talking about? I had him in, um, the, the last game. What was the last game? Sword and Shield, yes. Uh, Toxitricity, yes, of course. How could I forget something that happened two years ago? Persian? Cool. Um, also, Dunsparce, cool. So, I don't think Dunsparce has an evolution. Is there anything uh, cool over here? No, not seeing anything new. Lechon is still over here. But, what was I going to say? Something productive? Maybe not. Probably not. Look at those pop-ins for all those environments over there. Very nice. I guess I'll just make it to the top of the mountain and see what there is new to do. There's uh, the Skidoo, the pre-evolution to Go-Goat, of course. But, yeah, I haven't messed around with any... TMs or anything quite yet. Still kind of working on that as things go along here, making sure I'm not missing any new Pokemon to show y'all. I should be maybe battling them. Oh, there's, um, 
What's its face? Um, not Deerling. Um, the reindeer. Werder. No. No, what's that? I forget what it's called. But that Pokemon, I see it. I see it. Let me, let me challenge this trainer just for the sake of it. Ooh, that's a new Pokemon that I haven't seen. Grievard. So that's a little puppy. That is a ghost type, so dark type should be effective. Super effective. So yeah, that's one of the newer Pokemon. They, they revealed it in a very ominous looking trailer where the reporter for the Pokemon is like taken down or captive or something. I don't, it's very bizarre the way it all unfolded. But uh, that's one of the Pokemon, which is very cool. So Grievard is probably around here somewhere. It kind of burrows into the ground, which is also very interesting. But, uh, ooh, have been having some nice battles. I've only had one, but how many do you want me to actually do? Um, once you defeat five, you'll be granted a prize. Cool. So I will defeat the gimme ghoul that's up here just so I can get the coins. But I've already faced off against gimme ghoul, so not necessarily new information there. But they give you 50 each time you defeat them. So you need to defeat 18 of them in general. And I don't know if they respawn. So we'll see about that. I'll take this TM as well that I probably won't craft for a long time. Fire spin. Hi, Gimme Ghoul. I'll take my 50 coins, Gimme Ghoul. Thank you. And some XP to go along with. 60 on that one. Sweet. Is there any way I can throw myself off this cliff? <laughs> can I just launch myself? No, I can't. Wait, hold on. I can't launch myself? Wait, I can. Just kidding. Yoink! Bye! See you later! Dong! Right onto the edge right there. Cool. Is there an easy way for me to get down to the bottom and back up if I want to? I mean, yes, but a lechon is gonna stop me. So I can't tell if I could actually get over to that side of the mountain. I wish there was also a way for you to be able to know how you can get, like, I don't know, the swimming ability? <laughs> like, you're just kind of like... I'm going to dive into this pit of water and hope I make it. <laughs> so, there's no way to tell, like, what you actually can do or can't do or, like, how you should go about doing the things you should be doing. It's kind of like life in that way, I guess. But, yeah, I can't really tell. So, bugs? No. So, like, I can clearly jump over there, right? Yoink. Go. Go. Never mind. Absolutely not. Not a chance. Just shakung right into the water. You managed to scramble back out of the water right up toward here. So I can't make it over here at all. So if I just dive down here, right? I, I need to find a Pokemon I resonate with. Actually, remember I needed to get some uh, Houndooms or Houndours? I could do this. So over here you have Sl uh, Sligu. You have Fanfy, which is a very cute po- I've never actually used Fanfy. So for the ancient type you know what maybe i'll bring fanfy on maybe because if if, if fanfy can evolve into the ancient the ancient form right then maybe yawn yawn maybe right okay i'm gonna have you go to sleep here um i was actually just browsing the pokedex just to see what was going on um, there is a mouse Pokemon, like a multi-mouse Pokemon. So I can have a bird that looks like Polly the Parrot. I can have a mouse Pokemon that is the mice from my office. All I need is a blue cat and a purple penguin and we're good to go. So I, I got nosy. Admittedly, I got very nosy and I wanted to see what the typing were for each of the, le not legendaries, but for uh, the Pokemon in general. So there's apparently a mouse Pokemon somewhere that I haven't seen yet that happens uh, fairly early in the game. So uh, we'll see what ends up coming to that. I'm going to capture a Fanfy for now and see if that ends up working out really nicely. If I can get like the ancient form of a Dawn fan as a, as a female here, that's pretty cool. I don't have a name for Fanfy quite yet, but I'm going to bring Fanfy on as part of the party and uh, swap out for, like, Charcadet or something like that. Uh, this Pokemon lives and nests in a riverbank. After playing in the mud, it won't be able to settle down unless it washes its body. Very, very cute. So I'll keep exploring, finding new Pokemon, and let you know if anything interesting uh, comes about.